love sp relationships you can choose okay okay well i'm actually really happy to talk about this so first of all i will say that i do not really teach people how to manifest an sp which stands for specific person because Although some people might have very good intentions about it, I feel that messing with other people's free will goes against my morals and values. And I think, you know, if we wouldn't necessarily want somebody else to be controlling us or manipulating how we feel about them, so we should respect other people and not try and control them in return. So that's kind of my personal standpoint on using manifestation to get someone to do something or to love you. But I understand that a lot of people do it from a place where, you know, they're hurting, they're heartbroken, they they you know really want someone to love them and i understand that point of view too and i know how painful that can be and it is possible to manifest love and it is possible to manifest the most beautiful relationships and on a more sort of general level if i were to recommend what people can do to manifest more love or an ideal partner coming into their life without it being a specific person who we're trying to control the biggest first step would be, um, this is kind of in alignment with what we've been talking about today. How is your relationship with yourself? How much do you give love to yourself? How much do you trust yourself to get things done or to follow through with your word or to be a person of loyalty and respect and honor? how much do you how often do you tell yourself how much you love yourself how often do you compliment yourself do you respect your needs your emotions your boundaries because if you want to magically attract somebody else to treat you in that way and yet you are disrespecting yourself you are bullying and abusing yourself on a daily basis you are picking and tearing yourself apart in every kind of way then number one you're not in alignment with someone who could treat you better but number two even if you came across somebody who was pouring so much love onto you you would struggle to receive it if anyone finds that when someone pays them a compliment they just don't feel it or they feel like that person must be lying or doesn't mean it it's because it's not resonating with what's going on in your own belief system and something that worked for me and that i've seen it work for multiple others of friends in my life is when we actually took a break from chasing relationships and we took some time to fall madly in love with ourselves, to love our own company, to take ourselves on solo dates, to fill our life doing things that made us happy, to actually listen to how we're feeling and treat ourselves accordingly. If you do a season of that, six months, a year, of feeling so whole and complete and safe with yourself, then the quality of re relationships you will attract will be night and day completely different. When you attract a partner, so the, the, after I did that, before I did that, with all due respect to my exes, okay, I, I appreciate each and every one of them. <laughs> Not that there were that many, but you know, I appreciate them all. Thank you, next. <laughs> and you know, kind of relationships that I had before I did this work on me, there was a lot of emotional manipulation. There was a lot of over codependency where we really needed each other to make each other happy. There was a lot of um, insecurity, being different in a crowd of people versus when it's just the two of us all kinds of like self destruction self sabotaging behaviors whereas the relationship I, I manifested my husband after I took some time for me and my relationship with my husband is so different to that both of us are individual people not two halves we are two holes, which creates infinity, as one of my mentors taught me, right? Two halves create zero. Two holes create infinity. 
and we respect each other we support each other we unconditionally love each other we fully trust each other we communicate well with each other and any perfect happy loving relationship is a dance between two people it is never just what that other person does or doesn't do so how can we heal how can we also change our perception of what we feel we deserve because often the reason why we accept bad treatment or lack of respect or lack of basic requirements in a relationship is because there is a lack of feeling like we deserve it but if we can start giving that to ourselves that can show our brain that yes yeah, someone like us is capable of is worthy and deserving of being treated in that respectful way a big thank you to the wonderful team at truecosmic.com who invited me to speak on their new podcast conscious conversations the full episode is available as one of many resources and bonuses within their brand new manifestation membership so if you're into neville goddard's teachings and the law of assumption in particular this membership will be right up your street and you can actually get a 14 day free trial using the link that I've included in the caption. Thanks for watching.